Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new review for not for my Doctor Who marathon. I'm not going to do any Doctor Who reviews today because just a couple of hours ago I have just watched almost a Doctor Who story entirely. Basically a Doctor Who film. But more than Doctor Who, it completely links to Doctor Who. It completely has all the elements to make a great Doctor Who story. But this film was more than Doctor Who. This was more a Doctor Who mixed with a Marvel Studio film. Completely. This is just blew my mind when I just when I just finished watching this. Completely. I just basically went to the travel centre just yesterday watching this film and oh my gosh. This story, this film completely screamed sci-fi and Doctor Who elements within the whole film. It's time paradoxes, time loops, space-time continuums, dark dimensions, all these film things scream Doctor Who, you know, elements entirely at my face. And just, you may be thinking, what am I going on about? But if you haven't watched this film, then I highly recommend you should definitely watch this film. And so the film I am talking about is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is just a really great, you know, film to watch. It basically mixes Doctor Who and Marvel in a complete brilliant film. You know, I may give you a little bit of an insight because I'm just looking here on my phone about, you know, the whole, you know, film entirely. And this is just like a little, you know, you know, script on like a little backstory, you know, on a basis on what this film is all about. After his career is destroyed, a brilliant but arrogant surgeon gets a new leash on life when a sorcerer takes him under his wing and trains him to defend the world against evil. So basically it's like Doctor Who with all the space time dimensions, time vortex, dark dimensions and all these other sci-fi elements mixed in with like the Avengers you know, films like having all these kind of action movies, fight scenes and completely have like a you know, genetic way of you know, sorcery and so many graphic elements. I just absolutely loved it. It was just completely sci-fi. I mean... I am still a bit ill at the moment, so if I cough, you know, you know, during this review, I apologise. <coughs> Just there. <laughs> anyway, I do really, you know, really like the whole film entirely. Mainly because of all the time travel elements I really do like, but also the whole story, or the well, the whole film really intrigues me, of how this surgeon, or Doctor Strange, came out to be a surgeon, helping people, you know, you know, re repairing, you know, you know their bones and, you know, their ligaments and, you know, dislocated joints and stuff. And so making them feel up to scratch and up to health, really, to good health, really. So he was literally a doctor who, you know, helped in, you know, surgery and medicine and all these other bits. Whereas the real doctor in Doctor Who completely was a doctor of everything, but basically not a doctor of medicine. But also he was a doctor of medicine, but, you know, you get the picture. Anyway, so he basically helped out people, but then after a serious catastrophe just happened where he completely tore so many ligaments and completely busted loads of, you know, joints in his, you know, body, he completely felt, you know, unrepairable because he had, like, so many operations, so many surgeries, and com he was completely unrepairable. He felt that he couldn't, you know, move his hands at all because his hands were completely shaking because he cannot grip things, and really, he had, a, you know, a lack of, a lack of, you know, personality about him because he didn't became Doctor Strange when he had that catastrophe. He completely lost himself. He completely lost his soul or... Almost, I could be completely talking about complete nonsense, but it's just my basis on what I think of the whole film entirely. And so, Doctor Strange goes to this faraway place in, I don't know where the place is, but it's somewhere almost like in Africa um, or Asia, I don't know, but completely goes to this place, meets this kind of a you know, this ancient one or this woman who completely taught him about sorcery and completely made him believe that the spirit inside the body helps repair the body, not the body repairs itself. It's basically the spirit inside the body that helps the body to be repaired. And so 
that what the you know Doctor Strange didn't believe at first, but after having so many, uh, then after reading so many books, taking on so much knowledge of all these sorceries and how these mystical powers can help him, you know, help the future and defend against evil. So he really took on board on everything he know he knew about the whole experience, but also throwing in loads of comedy aspects, which I quite like in a film. You've always have to have some comedy in a film because it gets the audience very into the whole film itself. Although they may not understand the whole film, I really understand the whole film because it was completely so, you know, sci-fi. Because when the time vortex where I think the Ancient One basically pushed Doctor Strange and like his outer spirits completely went out and he saw his self completely still and he completely moved around as a wandering spirit, as like a ghost. And he completely went into this completely, you know, was shaken around and, you know, thrown into a time vortex and completely, my eyes went completely square. And my eyes were like completely hurting. Like I cannot just basically stare into the time vortex for so long because it just burns my eyes. But just watching all of those just completely just tangled up my mind. There were so many great sight, you know, graphic elements I really loved. I mean, the time vortex was just brilliant. Just screamed to me, just Doctor Who all the way through. And then it had, th there were a few fight scenes of where, the, you know, Doctor Strange had to fight some, you know, enemies on, like, you know, basically, it, you know, um, you know, in a city. But basically the city went, you know, upside down. It was completely weird and, like, how the whole buildings went completely upside down and had these mirror effects and completely went a bit, you know, Topsy turvy and a bit sideways and just really basically confused me. But I love the concept of you know fighting upside down and having all these other elements, making it so different to any other film entirely. It's completely sci fi and so fancy like, but also makes you know connects to you know what we are as a person. On the spirit inside our body helps to repair us, not the body itself repair itself, but the spirit inside the body. So that got me thinking. Is there a spirit inside our bodies? So that got me the question on, you know, is that true or is it fake? So I don't know. I mean, I'm not really a big judge on what I think of the whole film. But what I do think of the film, that it's just a brilliant, brilliant film. I wouldn't say that I give it a complete 10 out of 10 for me. Because I don't know the whole aspect of Doctor Strange and his, his entire, you know, backstory. But just watching that film really just got me thinking that he completely took on so much knowledge of all these time travels, time dimensions, and, you know, time paradoxes. And he really went on into, you know, the dark dimension, defeating this villain, going into a time loop, and etc, etc. And basically the whole ending was really very sudden, really wasn't very much explosions or anything like that. It was basically time just really, you know, revolving and just going back and forth, repeating the same moments over and over again, a time loop, really. And he completely controlled on how time really developed and could he, re you know, rewrite history almost. And so what actually happened, he could almost reverse and had all these sorcery tricks and... It was completely so, you know, fascinating to watch on how he could reverse time and how he could save time from all these, you know, distress and all these enemies who tried to, you know, will and, you know, go into the dark dimensions and so this evil spirit or dark villain can, you know, overtake the world and, you know, control time for eternity. I think those of the characters in these, you know, um, in in the film were really really good. I think Doctor Strange, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, um, Cumberbatch, who also played Sherlock, w was brilliant. He just completely took on the role just like that. He was completely just so up for it. You could almost see his determination in his fingers almost completely as he was trying to move them, but he couldn't really you know, control them because he was trying to get used to gripping things, but he just completely lost his kind of will to live. But then after looking around and reading all these sorcery books and trying to, you know, master the ways of sorcery and how he became a warrior of sorcery. And so he really got more, you know, confidence and had the will to, you know, to save people and defend the, the world from evil. So he had a job to take on and so he completely knew about the Ancient One just completely after reading a few couple of books and so the Ancient One, I mean, I don't really want to do this but I think I'm going into all these details, I'm not going through 
on what I think of the characters or what happens in the story, but I want you to figure out for yourself. And so I want you guys out there, so if you have not seen Doctor Strange, then I highly recommend you definitely check Doctor Strange out. Please do watch it because it's I've just watched it and it is just phenomenal. It's just like Doctor Who mixed with a Vengeance film and it's just fabulous. Wouldn't say it's 10 out of 10 for me. I personally think that it's a great 9 out of 10 or in these rates it's usually a 5 rating. I would usually say it's a 4 out of 5 kind of overall good story. But yeah, I definitely think that this story and that this film was really, really good. I absolutely, you know, really you know was fascinated and intrigued by this film all these time elements and paradoxes just really intrigued me and just made me scream well doctor who well i wasn't allowed to scream in the cinema just in my mind completely my mind just screamed doctor who and sci-fi elements and just absolutely loved it i mean i must i am a guy who loves sci-fi and with any, anything like star wars i mean rogue one is coming out very soon and it's just i cannot wait to watch that as well i mean I'm also intrigued for that as well. But anyway, I would be doing some more reviews on films if you know if I want to, if I think they're really, really good. Especially Doctor Strange. I think you should definitely watch Doctor Strange for, for many reasons. One, it just basically screams out Doctor Who, but it's not Doctor Who itself. It's basically Doctor Who mixed with an Avengers film and completely, you know, it's just the best combination, um, best combinations of having all these elements of you know time travel. I think I'm just repeating myself, and I am tired, and I do have to suffer, and I just really need to recover. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little brief review on Doctor Strange. Please tell me your views, and um, in, if you have seen the film already, please tell me your views and your opinions on what you thought of the whole film for me. Also, please do like, you know, this video if you have seen the film and also if you're very intrigued on, you know, on watching the film. If you really want to know and experience what I'm actually talking about. So definitely, please do watch it because you will really understand what you're getting into within this whole, you know, Doctor Strange thing and the whole film really entirely. So guys, I really just have to say... Thank you for you know watching this review this brief review on Doctor Strange and I hope maybe in the future we can do some more film sci-fi films in the future maybe some reviews later um, in in the future I hope but anyway guys I do have some recommendations from my viewers on my last review which was the Aztecs and so many of my uh, viewers have said that sh I should do a uh, review on Marco Polo because I only explained it in the Edge of Destruction very briefly but I don't have it in my collection all the keys of Mariners I think I only collect my Doctor Who well, DVDs the ones I think that are more my favourites and the ones that really intrigue me but he really really wanted me to do a review on Marco Polo which I may consider on doing one hopefully probably by before um, the Dalek Invasion of Earth, but we'll see. Just, we'll, we'll see how I feel, really. It just depends, you know, if I'm up for it and, yeah, if I recover soon. Just, that's the question, really. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review on Doctor Strange. Please do watch it because I really do, you know, admire and just love, just fascin just com I was just completely fascinated about this whole film when I just completely first heard about it. And, wow, what a way it turned out to be. Absolutely, a good 9 out of 10 for me. A great film. Really good. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.